Howdy crypto friends, back at the home base for a while now, no longer living the robe life unless I want to drip sweat. So we're looking at Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. Very clearly we had the dump, there's no surprises there. We know that very clearly at this point as the weekly candle stick is wrapping up. It's not huge bear volume, but clearly it's the highest volume we've seen in a couple months. This is only the Coinbase version of course, but it's a clear bear break with the accompanying volume behind it. The daily chart right now, things are getting extremely tight. You can see the volume is completely dropping off. We're just trading sideways. We did get a daily inside bar bull break with no follow through at this point. And if you watched the last video that we did, I believe two days ago at this point, we were saying how the inverse head and shoulders setup was here on the four hour time frame. But the fact that the exponential resistances were right there made me not really like that short term trade. And I just want to be clear for me personally, I have absolutely no interest in the cryptocurrency space unless the daily or the weekly time frames, the longer term time frames, change the trend. So when I'm pointing out these short, shorter term patterns, I'm not going to be taking any of these trades. It's just something that we're pointing out for clarity for those that are taking these trades. So 56.10 is resistance followed by 56.45. And we have a new short term resistance level at 5,555 as the highest price that we've seen in the last couple of days. So still clear resistances. We're going to get a volume spike here probably sometime today. And that's either going to be accompanied by a loss of these little higher lows on the hourly time frame and a bear volume spike or a bull break over these resistances and a bull volume spike. So whenever you get a pattern like that on the volume, as you can see on the four hour time frame, it just means keep an eye out for when we start to get a sign that the volume is coming in for when we're going to break this tight range. 5,510 is the most important short term support level. And you can see we have a bit of an hourly equilibrium starting to form on the shorter term time frame. But again, without the follow through, the short term breaks on the short term time frames aren't really giving us much indication of trades that we can be making. So the bears overall still have the upper hand, absolutely. And when we do get follow through on the daily, we're just going to look for a lower high and we'll watch the daily exponential 12 and 26 period resistances on any kind of bull break from here. And we have a higher low the past couple days in a row. Bulls want to keep that up as long as possible. But again, we don't really have any follow through on the bounce at this point. Price has pretty much stopped moving over the past three days. Ethereum had a bit of a bear break as well, but the weekly time frame is a double bottom. So we're looking down at 167 and 165.20. That's close enough for us to call that a double bottom at this point. And the volume spike there as well for the bears. But we're going to be watching... If we get another leg down, that will mean it's a clear bear break. But at this point, it's a double bottom in my opinion. So the daily chart is really tight here as well. Bull break of the inside bars with no follow through. Same as Bitcoin. And we're going to be looking at the four hour time frame with the clear resistance levels, exponential resistance, grinding the price down. So we're looking at 181, 180.38. And then our most recent lower high is 175.37 37 with support levels on the hourly time frames if you want to zoom in. But we're just looking at 170.34 and then down to 169.22. So overall, bears still have complete control. Bulls have to prove something. They need a volume spike and they need to get over these four hour resistances, in which case we would zoom out and look for the daily lower high. You better believe that there's bears sitting and waiting to reestablish positions or to add to their positions on daily lower highs once we do get a little bit of bull follow through. So keep that in mind as well. Had an alert on the alert system come out today and Stefano was pointing that out where we had on Coinbase Pro the automated bot radar of selling 700 ETH every 6.2 seconds. That's a lot of ETH being sold in a short amount of time and that was earlier today and obviously the price had a bearish reaction to that. Here on the hourly time frame we dropped down and lost the hourly higher low whereas if we look on that Bitcoin chart just to compare it we're still holding that hourly higher low. So that bot selling action was an indication of that bearish pressure. And again, the volume behind it, you can see it was the highest hourly volume in a couple dozen hours. And we're not seeing that on Bitcoin. So a pretty distinct difference between those two. And that bot radar was giving us a little heads up as to why. Ripple is standing out, XRP. So there's a couple clear names. We take a vote for the altcoin video with our members every weekend. And it was very, very clear XRP and XLM is what everybody's watching. And that's because these two names are holding up the best comparative to the other major names in the sector with the most recent Bitcoin dump. So the weekly time frame here, you wouldn't know that there was a lot of bearish action going on in this sector. And you better be watching Ripple because these bulls could turn things around, make some significant leaps up on the market cap chart, which they have been slowly climbing for some time now. 
And whether you like it or not, fundamentally, you know, XRP certainly has its school of haters, but it's holding up much better than Bitcoin right now. And we can be very unbiased about that just by looking at charts. So the weekly time frame has a new support level and we didn't break the low of October. So support of 376 held, new higher low of 422 and resistance from here. Little bit of a double top, so clear resistance to be watching of 535 and a lower high at 532. So some clear resistances. Ideal scenario for the bulls, establish a little daily higher low and then bull break through those resistance levels. And it's the psychology of a cup and handle pattern. Let's look at it on the four hour time frame. Left side of resistance, there's our cup. Right side, unable to break it. Let's see if we get a little bull flag and a handle of consolidation and then a breakout with follow through. But XRP is definitely holding up well and the hourly uptrend is one to be watching. Most important short-term support is 5-1 for me. If 5-1 breaks, then we zoom out to the four hour and look for our four hour consolidation at that point. And if the bull break does occur over 5-3-5, we're looking then up at 5-6-8 as our most recent high. So again, the bulls aren't that far away from a strong move and there's correlations always shifting around. And this is an instance where the correlation for XRP with Bitcoin favors the bulls. So I do expect XRP to respond if Bitcoin were to break its four hour resistances and then look for that daily lower high to form. We would expect XRP to respond as well. But on any downside action, it's looking like XRP is not going to see as much downside action as Bitcoin. So that's what I mean when the correlation favors the XRP bulls. So definitely worth watching this chart for a bull break of 535 after that clear double top. XLM, another one, weekly time frame, long lower wick and holding support. That's the most important support. Uh, most important part is that we did not lose the uptrend. The weekly higher lows are absolutely still intact and we have a new one here at 2157. So the bulls need to see a break of 288 and then we're gonna be looking up at 304 as the next two resistances. And if we look on the daily time frame and compare it to XRP, didn't get close. We're looking for an equilibrium where we have our high, low of the dump. We'll look for a lower high to form. When we lose the four hour uptrend, we'll say our daily lower high has been set and we'll look to pull back and form a daily higher low. I expect this daily equilibrium to last through next week unless something crazy happens in the sector overall. So we'll be watching for a daily equilibrium to break on XLM sometime end of November, early December. And you can see the range of this weekly candlestick that's about to form, very likely to form a weekly inside bar this coming week. ZRX BTC, this one's also setting up for the potential of a weekly equilibrium where we have our low of the pullback, high of the bounce, and here we are looking for a higher low. Bull volume certainly outweighing the bear volume on this pullback, but we have to see a daily trend change to be confident that our weekly higher low has been set. And right now to change this daily trend, we need to see a bull break of 107 with our low, high of the bounce, higher low would be here at 9527. And then the bulls need to see a break of that 107 level, change the daily trend. We zoom out to the weekly after that and say, all right, there's our weekly higher low clearly established. And now we're going to look for a lower high, perhaps in the 1-3 area and a tightening weekly pattern that will likely last into the new year, potentially. So in the four hour time frame, we can see we need to see a bull break of 101 and then 107 to give us that weekly higher low that we are looking for. And wrapping it up with NEO, NEO USD, this is very clearly a lead bear. And it is much weaker than Bitcoin, just where we stand right now down at the low of the dump. 1368 was a key support level that broke. And you can see the next support level, we don't have any support on this exchange. And this is on Bitfinex, I believe. So let's just compare it to another one here on Binance. Let's see if we have any more price data. So after, let's see, current price right now, just trying to find historical support levels because there is little nearby. After 12.63, we're looking down at 4.47. So again, no support in this area. This is one that you want to look at. Any individual altcoins that do not have support nearby, look at the bears. Look for bearish plays because we can absolutely see RSI levels get extra extended down when there's no support nearby. Daily RSI is crushed, the bounce, no follow through. We're seeing daily lower highs now six days in a row, 1288 and 1284, a little double top the last two days. Support is 1247 and 1224. So the Neo bears are extremely comfortable. And if we change the four hour trend with exponential resistance like everybody else, but if we change this four hour trend, we zoom out and just look for a daily lower high to form but right now the resistance levels are 1323 
and 1284 as the most clear short-term resistances on this pullback. So break the four-hour lower highs. We zoom out to the daily and we look for a daily lower high. And you better believe that bears are going to jump on that as it has been showing so much relative weakness compared to everybody else. And there's a lack of support. So we could see NEO continue to drop, especially if Bitcoin sees any further downside. NEO is probably only going to magnify that to the downside as well. And just as a comparison, that big dump day that we had on November 14th, we saw a drop from 1551 all the way to 1251. So almost a 20% drop, whereas Bitcoin was maybe a, a 10 to 12% drop and not even that much actually. NEO very clearly almost twice as weak on that day that we had that dump. So that's where we stand overall. Again, bears in complete control of all trends. Pretty much the question right now is, can bulls break four hour lower highs to have us look for a daily lower high? which doesn't seem very exciting for the bulls. And it's not because the bulls have a lot of work to do now that we've broken a lot of these key support levels. So that would be step number one. If we do, do not break four hour lower highs, bears have absolutely nothing to worry about. We keep the downtrend and we head down towards recent support levels. So that's what we're watching as we head into this coming week. Appreciate everybody watching. And then I hope you all continue to do good things. One thing as a reminder, and this time of year, I've said it in the past, as we've now been friends for multiple years in this cryptocurrency space, but go to Goodwill and load up some coats and some hats and some blankets and just stick them in your car because you never know who you're going to encounter that could use those. And so far in my experience, I've come across a woman and her dog who were new to town and sleeping out on the street. I gave them a big fluffy comforter and that certainly was a game changer for them that night. And I've come across a man who had a bald head and was exposed in the hot sun in Florida, was able to give him a hat and it later poured that day. And I saw him a couple days later and he expressed how much that hat helped him so again, just very low cost things that you can keep around just in case somebody needs them and some food and things like that as well. So things get cold out there and it's certainly nice to have some extra warmth and even just, you know, a stranger coming up to you if you were out on the street having a hard time and just uh, inspiring a little bit of hope that somebody does care can go a long way for mental psyche as well. So thanks again. Here we got some baby pigs and we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks, boo.